Good afternoon and welcome to another ACY Securities Market Update. My name is Alastair Schultz and I'll be your host through today's trading journey. Now, in today's update, we're going to be looking at the chaos that's continuing and we're going to start with the Australian dollar. Now, we can see here we had the flash crash occur, 300 and pip wiped off the board very, very quickly. It has since come back and recovered a little bit, but it is sitting in a place that you wouldn't want to be considered as safe at the moment. Now, it, the same effect has occurred again on the dollar yen, and we can see here 285 pips since this morning's open. From there, we move on to the Nikkei, which is where this has sort of started. We've had quite a few different things going on today, specifically around oil, and some of the news that's come out around that, and it has affected other stocks around the globe. So, the Nikkei is down 6%, and this in fact triggered the down limit rule. So anything beyond 5%, the market will stop on that, on that index or that stock or where it might be for about 15 minutes. Now they have a series of rules that go all the way down and once they hit 20%, they stop trading for the day. So be aware of those moving forward. We've had the same thing occur on the ASX 200 who has made a record slide down for 7%. Now, as we can see, there's still gaps occurring in price and this is occurring everywhere you look. It doesn't matter what feed you're on, we're seeing gapping in price just because there are so many orders hitting the market at the time and there seems to be a fair bit of panic, fear, selling going on. Now, why is it all happening? Why have we seen the Australian dollar devalue more than 300 points so very, very quickly? Well, the first things to take note of are that we've had the S&P 500 and the Nikkei both hit limit downs. Beyond that, we've also had the DXY index hit to 95. Now, think about two weeks ago when I mentioned the DXY index, which is the dollar index, it was nearing 100. So it's had a very quick drop right down. We've also seen the Fed talk about there being a March cut at, and the rating in for that is 98.5% for there the potential to be another 0.50 cut to the federal funds interest rate. We've had oil sliding all day, so now we're sitting at 31% low, and in some places we're seeing even up, up beyond that. Now, 10-year yield US Treasury curves, now we've seen them also decline. 0.5%, they're now below that at 0.49%. We've also then had 30-year Treasuries occur with that, and they are now below the 1% range and nearing just the edge of 0.98%. We've also had commodities, all countries that have got linked to commodities trade are devaluing. So Canada, Australia and New Zealand are getting stuck in this slump at the moment and I expect that we'll see further action of this kind occurring. So for your trading ahead, keep an eye on these sort of things, be wary of short panic selling and try and see if you can find some good places for either some technical trading or using the fundamentals and trade your way today. Now, if you have any questions about today's video or any of the previous videos that I've done, feel free to send me an email at talktoal at acy.com. And of course, like and subscribe the video so you can get more updates and more reasons why markets are changing and being so volatile at the moment. Have a good trading day ahead.